Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this short video with a couple great landscape lighting tips, but if you need more info, go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or go to YouTube and search for Lighting Doctor for more helpful tips. Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear me over the dump trucks and fire trucks and everything, but I wanted to explain another thing why it's good to go and test those lights and check things the night before. Um, we decided to do a couple featured trees on the property. So we've got two beautiful palms right in the front. Um, we chose to put two lights on each of them so that we could have it look good for the homeowners from the house side as well as have it lit up from the street. Uh, and a lot of times that's what you want to do. If you have a really key feature that you really want to stand out, use more than one light. It doesn't hurt to do that. Um, but the one thing we did find is last night, even after that first night, we kind of tested out. We had a pretty good idea of where we were going to throw that light. But it wasn't until we got everything hooked up and last night we found that the light was about, it was only about a foot too close to the tree and what it was doing is it was putting most of the light on the base of the trunk and it wasn't putting enough to the top. And just moving it back, I would say six to eight inches made all the difference because now we had a more subtle light on the trunk and we were casting a lot more light up into the giant palm tree leaves. So it doesn't matter how many lights you put in or how good you think it, you are at this, if you're not testing it at night, checking things out, use that battery pack to go and play around, um, you're gonna miss some things and you're not gonna get the full effect. So just by doing some of those things, even if it's your first time doing it, you can really um, install lights just like a, a professional landscaper or contractor would do. But in a lot of cases, even better, because most of those guys don't even come back and check their lights at night. They just put them in, get out, and, and it's all done. And um, I think it's just ego if you don't test those lights first, because people are paying a lot of money for these lights, uh, and especially if you're getting a good quality one that you don't want to have to redo, which so many of you guys have told me, you just want to do this once in your lifetime. Well, that's how you go do it. Test them out so you can make sure you're getting the right effect. Um, go check them out at night. This will bring home my point. Um, we had a palm tree right behind me here and initially when we'd kind of done the first testing played with our Instalite um, our thought was we're gonna make these palm trees close to the street look really good from the street side so that um, you know people driving by walking by really get the full effect but what happened last night we turned everything on we tested it and we had some other trees on the property beautiful palm trees uh, that we had lit up from a different view and angle so from the homeowners view and angle so the point of this uh, topic is Keep in mind your viewing angle. Where do you want that feature that you're lighting to look best? And that's where you want to place that light because what we found is that the homeowner liked the way all the other trees on the property looked so much that they didn't care so much that the people on the street got the gray view and they're still going to because we're pushing light up into that canopy so they're gonna see that. But they wanted to see the cool unique features of the trunk of the palm trees and all that. So we ended up just moving the, the light right around the tree 180 degrees on the other side and now the street guys are still getting the view of the top um, lit up palm leaves but now the homeowner gets to view the trunk and the other features more so my point is just keep in mind your view and angle and try and walk the property or sit in the areas that you think you're gonna want to see these things the most there's a backyard area that we did the same thing that originally we had like 12 lights planned for this one area and just by keeping in mind the viewing angles and which way we were gonna see things, we reduced that down to like five lights because we realized we didn't need to light everything because we're not gonna see all those, all those different features and stuff. And just by lighting five of those in key spots and trying to fill some dark spots, having some consistency with spacing of lighting, we are able to go from 12 to five lights uh, just by keeping in mind that viewing angle a little bit more. So that's one thing that you always wanna do and that's why that battery pack is such a good thing because you can go set that up on a tree or a statue or whatever it is. You can go sit back on the area that you think you're gonna be looking at it from. You can go and walk the property with that light lit up and see if that's actually where you want that light if that's a viewing angle you're looking for so always keep in mind viewing angles not just from the outside but even from the inside where are you going to be viewing that the most where we are up in calgary canada it's cold in the winter time i'm pretty much only seeing those lights from my kitchen table i'm not going outside to to look at them so i want to keep those viewing angles in mind too so just a quick tip about viewing angles always keep that in mind when you're designing the landscape lighting system Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. I hope you guys got some great tips and I hope you guys take advantage of your own free video consultation where you can send me a few pictures of your property and I'm gonna get back to you with your own personalized video pres presentation 
with all kinds of tips and tools on how to go and light your own property. So to get that, go check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or just email me a few pictures of your property at cal at lightingdoctor.ca.